Hey, what's going on guys, it's Tubbs here, welcome back to another Sunday commentary type of a thing. Anyway, let's start off like every single other Sunday uh, video by doing the Q&A. So, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below for the next uh, Sunday commentary or the next Sunday Q&A, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, but anyway, let's answer some of the questions that were asked by you guys on the previous video. So we start off with Conrad Tony again. Uh, what customization would I like to see added to GT personally? Uh, I'd like a uh, livery creator and engine swaps. Livery creator or livery editor um, would be really, really cool because then you can do so many, so many different things uh, to the actual cars that will actually make them look a lot different. Not just actually make the the look of the car different, but you can also like repaint body kits and like different types of colors and stuff like that. And it just, it, I know it'll end up being such a huge thing for Gran Turismo to actually put in because it's uh, it's pretty big for for Forza. And um, I yes, I really do think that that that'll be a really, really good day. Uh, uh, addition to the game. I really want to see some more, uh, it's like some different body kits, uh, something like that. Uh, literally all they have now is just some shitty, you know, very, very small amount of uh, customization options. So pretty much anything that will expand um, the customization ability for the game, I really want that to be, to be, you know, shown in the game or implemented in the next Gran Turismo series. Anything at all that will pretty much improve what they have already. Um, so basically anything that, that will improve it, I am, I'm going to be happy with. Um, next question comes from NSX Shockwave. What do I drive? Um, I've answered this before. I drive a Mark IV Golf. Um, you can find pictures of it on my Instagram or Facebook or whatever. If you, if you decide to go check that out. Anthony Sanchez asks, what car games are you mostly looking forward to the next gen systems? Um, will you be covering them on your channel? Um, yes, I will be playing a bunch of car games from the next gen consoles or well, now they're current gen consoles, um, but yes, I will be. I want to get an Xbox One, which actually brings me to the next question and the final question from Fatal. Which console will I buy first, Xbox One or PS4? Uh, or will I buy them at the same time? I want to buy an Xbox One first, and I'll buy a PS4 later on when something comes out for that, for that console that's actually interesting. For example, like Destiny, if that comes out, um, I think it's coming out during the, the Christmas time or something like that. Um, so I want to get the PS4 sometime at the end of the year. I'll be happy with that. But the Xbox One I want to get earlier. Hopefully I can get it earlier, but uh, I want to get the Xbox One first so I can play Forza on it. I want to get Forza Horizon 2 because that game just looks absolutely cre incredible. Uh, I want to get Forza 5. I want to try get into the Forza series a little bit more um, because it's sort of boring just playing the one game that, you know, just Gran Turismo and um, all these like little shitty t side games. I'm sorry that I call them shitty. Um, all these little side games like Assetto Corsa uh, or... Um, what, what else was there that I, that I played on my channel that I literally just made like one video of? I don't even remember the name of the game. Um, but basically, um, all these like little games, they're, they're not really that big on, on YouTube or on anywhere else. So basically getting, you know, into a different series, even though it's, a, it's the same thing, like sort of like a racing series, but uh, getting into Forza, uh, which is actually kind of popular on YouTube. Um, I really want to get into that because it looks great. I know that the physics, uh, I know what the physics are like because I've played Forza before. Um, and I know exactly what, what to expect when playing Forza. And I enjoy it. I like it. And I really want an Xbox specifically for, for playing Forza. And also, I want to get into Call of Duty a little bit more as well. So I sort of want to get an Xbox for that because, uh, the majority of people that play, uh, Call of Duty will be on the Xbox side over than, uh, than the PlayStation side. You know, the majority of them anyway. Um, so pretty much right now, uh, the majority of the good games are coming out on the Xbox One, so I want to get an Xbox One first, and then once Uncharted starts to come out, or Gran Turismo 7 comes out, um, or, or anything like super decent comes out on the PlayStation 4, then I'll end up getting a PlayStation 4 as well after that. Um, but I will end up owning both of the consoles. I made the, the, the decision of getting a PlayStation 3 because I had a PlayStation 2, uh, in the past, and that's pretty much the only reason why I got a PlayStation 3, and basically... I ended up sticking with the PS3 for all these years, and uh, it was it actually did well. You know, I'm still I still have the very first PlayStation 3 that I ever bought. It never broke. Um, literally, the only problem that I had with it was the hard drive was too small, so I just changed that out and I changed it to a 250 gig hard drive, and that's pretty much it. That's all I've done. Like the, the PlayStation never broke. It never caused me just so, like incredible like amount of trouble or anything. And like it froze from time to time, but usually consoles and PCs and anything. Um, you know, does that, it like freezes up or messes up a little bit, but you just turn it off and on and it just works again, you know, just like any other device. So, um, I want to go ahead and for the next gen of consoles, I want to get both of them just because I, then I'll have the flexibility on playing on either one, playing a bunch of different types of games to put on my channel. Like right now, I'm pretty much just stuck with GTA 
and GT6. There's nothing else that I can play, uh, put, put on my channel, except for Minecraft, which I can play some Minecraft if I want to. But uh, as I said before, it is kind of boring to play. So I don't usually do that uh, on my channel, not anymore. But I will be bringing him back, which I've said before. But uh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave it a like or a dislike, whatever the hell you want to do. And also, if you want to ask any questions for the future Q&As, then leave them down in the comments below. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, and all that stuff. That's all in the description box below as well. And that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.